plans to help fill the void, which some say contradicts the state's goal of using 100% renewable energy by 2045. KITV Forest Jefferson Tyler heard different views on that goal and joins us with tonight's top story. Jefferson. Well, from those I spoke to, it seems technology is the differentiating factor on whether 100% by 2045 is a real possibility or not. And reaching that goal or not is going to determine whether you are going to have to pay higher energy costs of using petroleum to fuel electrical plants. Hawaii Governor David Ige says in a recent comment to KITV4 that the state is making good progress in transitioning away from coal and oil. But under the latest shutdown of the state's last coal power plant, Hawaii Energy is using petroleum power plants to ease the changeover. You've always got to have that base load generation that runs on oil or coal to make sure the lights stay on when the sun's not shining or the wind isn't blowing. Um, it's not a one for one swap. A solar panel does not equal a firm generation source that we call thermal generation, something that's running on fuel. The governor has his own view on that, saying in a statement, is a state statute requiring 100% to be based on generation so that we are not still relying on oil in 2045? Energy expert Shasha Fesharaki says that different methods are needed for backup, but even with that, he's skeptical of the goal. Based on our lack of geothermal and uh, lack of land and the challenging as far as uh, having large scale uh, economic storage, for solar and wind, I think it's going to be very, very hard to reach that goal by 2045. The company AES runs not only the closing coal power plant, but also has multiple solar plants coming online. They feel that the 100% goal is possible. In terms of getting to 2045, we have already a great foundation that's been laid. And we as a company are working with Hawaiian Electric and I know other developers are to try to quickly bring on these projects as, as, as soon as possible. I also spoke to the State Public Utilities Commission, who says that if the goals are not met, that Hawaii Energy and others will not get the financial subsidies that are available to them. And that's apparently a substantial amount. Jefferson Tyler, KITV4 Island News.